Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at this book. It's called On the Shortness of Life. It was written by Seneca and published by the Vigio Press. So this is a very small book as you can see how thin it is. It's a soft cover which is kind of nice because you can lay in bed and read it. Let's open it up and see what we have. So On the Shortness of Life, you can see here, uh, this is the translated by John W. Basor, Vigio Press. And then here are the copyrights. It says originally published in 32 public domain and then a reprint in 2016. This is a very, very old book. And then here are the contents. Okay. And let's just jump into, let's just read something random so you see um, how it works. So how, 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 to, how, what the book is like so you can get an idea. So let's take a look here. Why do we complain of nature? She has shown herself kindly. Life, if you know how to use it, is long. But one man is possessed by an avarice that is insatiable, another by a toilsome devotion to tasks that are useless. One man is besotted with wine, another is paralyzed by sloth. One man is exhausted by an ambition that always hangs upon the decision of others, another driven on by the greed of the traitor, is led all over land and seized by the hope of gain. Some are tormented by a passion for war and are always either bent upon inflicting danger upon others or concerned about their own. Some there are who are worn out by voluntary servitude and a thankless attendance upon the great. Many are kept busy either in the pursuit of other men's fortunes or in complaining of their own. Many, following no fixed aim, shifting and inconstant and dissatisfied, are plunged by their fickleness into plans that are ever new. Some have no fixed principle by which to direct their course. And it just goes on and on and on. And it's just, it's basically the stuff, which, you know, is considered, this is considered one of the classics, uh, written by this man whose name was Seneca. And I've read most of this, and my honest opinion um, is that I like most of it. I mean, you have to realize uh, Seneca was just a human being, um, and these were his thoughts. It's certainly worth reading. It certainly has some, some good insight that will help you question things, uh, perhaps in your own life. And it's, it's really good. I think it's a really good read. And I recommend it. So yeah, um, it's Seneca on the shortness of life. I hope it's been helpful. Take care.